Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello students, so welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to cover some questions with their brief explanation. So here we have a first question is, which of the following is vitamin K dependent clotting factor? And the options are, option A is factor 7, option B is factor 1, option C is factor 11, option D is factor 12. So which of the following is vitamin K dependent clotting factor? So the correct answer is factor 7 is the vitamin K dependent clotting factor. So here we have just read some uh, here we have just detailed description about that that vitamin K dependent factors are clotting factors that is factor 2, 7, 9th and 10th and anti clotting factor protein is C and protein S. So the option A is the right answer that is factor 7. Let's discuss another question that in welding of aerosol containers which process are used? P. Sudronic system, Q. Serratoria system, R. Convolved system and S. Erla cell system and the options are option A is P and Q Option B is Q and S, option C is Q and R, option D is P and R. So which option is the correct answer? So the correct answer is P R, that is sudronic system and serratorius system are the process used in welding of aerosol containers. Here we have just a detailed description on this, that sudronic and uh, convolved systems are used in the manufacture of aerosol containers and where Erla cell is a known anic surfactant. So hence the option D is the correct answer. Next question is angiology is the study of and the options are option A is serum, option B is blood circulation, option C is heart, option D is bone. So angiology is the study of blood circulation. That it is a it is a medical especially which specialty which studies the disease of the circulatory system and of the lymphatic system that is arteries veins and lymphatic vessels and its disease so the b is the correct answer that is the blood circulation next question is the starting material of uh, for the synthesis of ketoconazole is and the options are option A is 2,4-dichloroacetophenone, option B is 2,5-dichloroacetophenone, option C is 2,4-dichlorobenzophenone, option D is dichlorobenzophenone. So the starting material for the synthesis of ketoconazole is the 2,4-dichloroacetophenone. Here we have just a simple explanation that the synthesis of ketagonazole starts with the dichloroacetophenone and glycerine. So the option A is the uh, correct answer. Next question is which of the following substance undergoes sublimation on heating option uh, that is iodine, naphthalene and camphor and the options are 1 and 2, option A, option B is 1 and 3, option C is 2 and 3, or option D is all of them. So which of the following substance undergoes sublimation on heating? The correct answer is all of them, that is iodine and naphthalene and camphor are undergo sublimation on heating. Next question is, the C-methyl groups of alkaloids is estimated by the method Option A is Herzegmeyer, option B is Kuhn-Roth oxidation, option C is Zerwitanoff, option D is Emmett. So the C-methyl groups of alkaloids is estimated by the method of that is Kuhn-Roth oxidation. So let's discuss with the help of explanation that 
Herzig Mayer method involves determination of alkylamide or methyl amino group, where C methyl groups are quantitatively estimated by the Kuhn Roth oxidation, which is the correct answer, and the Zutronov determination or Zerbitinov determination is a quantitative chemical test for the determination of active hydrogens in a chemical substance where the amide reaction or amide degradation or amide reduction is the method for the reduction of quaternary ammonium cation to a tertiary amine with sodium amalgam so option b is the correct answer that is the kunroth oxidation next question is that above 70 degrees Celsius sodium bicarbonate has a property of gradually decomposes, decomposing which makes it usable in bakery products. So which among the following end product of this thermal decomposition of sodium bicarbonate makes it usable for the above purpose and the options are option A is hydrogen, option B is carbon dioxide, option C is water vapor and option D is sodium carbonate so which is the correct answer the correct answer is carbon dioxide is the which makes it usable for the bakery product here we have explanation that above 70 degree sodium bicarbonate gradually decomposes into sodium bicarbonate sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide as we can see observe in the name reaction that sodium bicarbonate is the so converts in sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide so in bakery it reacts with the other components or decomposes at a higher temperature to release carbon dioxide which causes dough to rise so option b is the correct answer next question is find out the wrong statement we have to find out the wrong st statement students and the options are option A is Marconic equation is used to estimate molecular weight of polymer intrinsic viscosity is obtained from plot of reduced viscosity versus concentration option C is sprangly soluble that is 10 to 30 parts of solvent is required to solubilize one part of solute and option D is dielectric constant of water at 25 degrees Celsius is 78.5 so which is the wrong statement so the correct answer is that option C sprangly soluble 10 to 30 part of solvent is required to solubilize one part of solute is a wrong statement so it means there are three statements these are the correct one that Marconic equation is used to estimate molecular weight of polymer where intrinsic viscosity was obtained from plot of reduced viscosity versus concentration where dielectric constant of water at 25 degrees Celsius is 78.5 so sprangly soluble means 30 to 10 parts of solvent is required to solubilize one part of solute is the incorrect one so it is the uh, correct answer next question is Identify the wrong match of the act and its enacted year. And the options are option A is Patents Act in 1970, option B is AICT Act 1967, Poison Act 1999, Factories Act 1948. So, which is the wrong match? The wrong match is AICT Act that is 1967. So, the uh, that uh, AICT Act was enacted in the year of 1987 not 67 so hence b is the correct answer next and last question of this video students all of the following and drugs act on an ionic channel except nicotine option b is insulin option c is glibenclamide option d is diazepam so all the drugs act on ionic channel except and the the answer is insulin. It does not act on ionic channel. That nicotine acts on NM and NM receptors, which are inotropic receptors, where diazepam acts on GABA benzyl chloride channel complex that mediates entry of collide, where glibenclamide is a sulfonyl urea that acts on acetylcholine sensitive potassium channels, where insulin acts on enzymatic receptors. So B, B is the correct answer, B is the right answer, that is the insulin
So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching.